Hi, friends. Uh, well, uh, we're back with another free sync G sync video because uh, yesterday I don't know if I was high on my meds for my bum knee or I just like we made an oopsie. We made a big oopsie uh, with how we did the video. It was just completely incorrect, which baffles my mind how I even let it slip through my fingers, not only just while filming it, but then also with the rendering and the upload. Uh, so what we did wrong, as you can probably guess from yesterday's video, is we just let the frame rate go. We never capped it. And G-Sync doesn't work uh, above its frame rate and FreeSync doesn't work above its own frame rate. So of course there was tearing. Of course there was gonna be. The, the max FreeSync rate for this is 95 Hertz. And I believe this one goes up to 144. So in order for us to compare side by side, we have to have them below 95 frames per second, which we're dumb. I'm dumb. I messed that up. I'm sorry. So we're gonna correct that today and read shoot all of the comparisons. But before we do, I wanna let you know that today's video is brought to you by our charity stream that we're gonna be doing on January 25th. It's gonna be our second annual fundraising event for an NGO here in South Africa that raises money for orphaned and vulnerable children in the Southern African region. So if you guys would be so kind to tune into our 24 hour charity live stream happening on January 25th at 9 a.m. South African Standard Time and going till 9 a.m on Saturday. It would be appreciated if you guys could sew up if you might want to donate. We have some prizes. We've already confirmed that we have some RAM and SSDs to give away as an incentive for you guys to donate. So yeah, stick around. We'll give you more information about a week and a half until that in case you guys want to just mark it on your calendars. So not only do we mess it up, there are a few things that I forgot to mention in yesterday's video that I would like to clear up. I didn't mention that enabling G-Sync on a FreeSync monitor is only available for 10 series and 20 series cards. If you have a 980, 980 Ti, you are out of luck at this point. So it sucks. I wish NVIDIA would open it up to the 9 series, but I mean, they're trying to sell more 10 series. They still have a backlog of 1060s to sell out of. So why would they open it up if they can make more cash by just limiting it? I mean, they, they had G-Sync forever. Would you really think that all of a sudden they're gonna change their ways and just open it up to everybody? Not me, not me. Anyways, then secondly, one of the things I didn't mention as well is that in order for it to work, you have to have DisplayPort plug plugged in. You cannot use HDMI to enable G-Sync. It's just not gonna work. So we have two DisplayPort cables here. The 2080 Ti can support two DisplayPort cables. It all works that way, but if you do HDMI, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna get any adaptive sync in there. And then thirdly, this isn't something I missed, but something that came up in the comments on yesterday's video quite often about people who were having issues with it getting their G-Sync working on this. There are several steps that you have to do. One, you have to to install the new drivers from NVIDIA. You also have to have a 10 or a 20 series card. You have to be using DisplayPort. And from hearing what you guys were going through, it seems like some people have some driver issues if they don't completely uninstall the driver first. So it would be recommended that you use DDU, which is Display Driver Uninstaller. We'll leave a link for that in the video description. It completely wipes NVIDIA's driver from your system so that you have a fresh slate to install the new one. And I've heard of some people having better G-Sync support on their FreeSync monitor once they've actually updated. If none of that works, you probably just have a crappy FreeSync monitor that just sucks. So we're gonna, we're gonna test this again. However, uh, there, there are a couple ways that we can limit frame rate. We can do it through VSync in the video game. We can do it through VSync in the NVIDIA control panel. They have a vertical sync option right here. But the issue with that is that just like Linus showed, VSync implements a little bit of latency. You're gonna get some extra input lag if you enable VSync, even though you have a variable refresh rate technology like FreeSync or JingSync implemented. So the method that we're gonna go with to implement a hard cap on frame rate is we're gonna be using Riva Tuner statistics. So if you wanna come over here, Reese, you can see right here, it has a frame rate limit of whatever you want to set it to. So we're going to set this to just below the 95 FPS that the MSI monitor needs in order to stay within its free sync range. Obviously that makes it lower than what the Dell can do. The Dell can do 144 Hertz, but 95 is not so bad. It's, it's some would even say it's okay. So there we go. We're limiting it 92. We're not implementing G-Sync, so we shouldn't see any extra lag, but then we should get all of the benefits from it first off. So let's just verify very quickly that it's all gonna work up, work out. G-Sync is enabled. Okay, we're at a solid 92 FPS, that 2080i. 
is doing really handsomely. I want to be Tracer. Already Tracer. I am Tracer. Yes. There we go. Oh, there. No tearing whatsoever. It's minus. There might be some there. Yes. Yeah, it's still tearing on this on both of them. Weird. Okay, let's let's go straight to just one. See if that affects it. That's even yeah, worse. Yeah, that's worse. Okay, let's let's enable VSync and see what it does. Yeah, it's still tearing right there. Let's turn this off. Zero. It's not everywhere. It's only in certain places, like on walls. Yeah, I'm noticing it heavy on the walls. No, there's no tearing now. Do you see any tearing? Mm -mm. Weird. Why is it only at 60 frames per second though? I'm not seeing any tearing. Touchdown. Let's try that again. Okay, it's limited to 60 now. Now there's no tearing. So we have to drop it even lower than 95, which kind of hurts the point of having a 144 hertz monitor here. Okay, so I want to see how high we can go before we start seeing tearing again. Okay. Custom. So let's do, let's do 75. Why is it hard capping at 60 now? I'm confused. Okay, so going down to 30 definitely does it. We do custom 75, will it bump it up? It only peaks it at 60. What are you doing to me? All right, let's plug both of them back in and figure this out. Yeah, the free sync range on this one is up to 144 hertz, actually. So I'm now lost. And why is this one not displaying now? It is having a wild time right now. You know, you think saying I was wrong and then fixing your mistakes would be easy, but no, it just means that you find new problems that you have to go through. So the free sync range on this MPG 27 CQ is 48 to 144 hertz. So it should be working effectively up until 144 hertz, but it's not, and that's weird. There we go, the 75 is implemented. Okay, so at 75, it's still totally okay. No tearing. No tearing on either one. Uh, let's bump it up to 100. No tearing there either. Some ghosting, but no tearing. Yeah, that looks fine. Let's do 120. I'm not seeing tearing. What the heck? Let's do 144. No tearing. Nope, oh, there's some. It's not, it's not as bad. Like it's not there, but like it shows up sometimes. It's, it's slight. Okay, so let's drop it to maybe 143. There we go. So now it's working fine. This is one of the weird things, especially with yesterday. So like, it's not a placebo effect that we did notice a difference once we turn on G-Sync, even though we were over the refresh rate of the monitor, because there are some frames that are getting rendered under the refresh rate of the monitor. It wasn't a perfect over 144 FPS the entire time. So when it dropped below, we were actually seeing improvement, but for the most part, it actually wasn't improved. Just like with this, when it's at 144 Hertz, we are seeing some tearing, but not all of the time because not every frame is being rendered at, at the 144 frames per second rate. So at 142, this is this is smooth as all green team going. Like this is this is good. Hold on. And then let's go back to 144. Give me the tearing. There it is. Okay. Oh, we're seeing it on this one. Let me know if you see tearing on this one. Oh, I'm seeing tearing on this one now. Yeah. Okay, it's on both. So just dropping it to 142, a frame rate cap there. That's weird. Okay. I want to see if I go for a full 300 frame rate cap. Right? There's definite tearing. But what if I limit the FPS through Riva Tuner? Now there's no tearing. What was happening earlier? Okay, now it's perfectly fine. Weird. Yeah, even earlier setting it like that, it didn't really work. Now it's fine. Okay, well now it's working just fine. So let's go ahead and set up the slow-mo cam and compare both of them 
and then we'll come back to you. Because, I mean, it doesn't work initially perfectly, but it will work eventually. So now with all of that being done, let's go ahead and do a, a much better in-depth slow-mo analysis here. As you can see now on the left side of the screen, there's the tearing that's from the G-Sync still being on, but the frame rate being capped to 300. It was running about 200 FPS, and then the tearing is just all over the place. On the right side is with G-Sync enabled, it has the frame rate limited to 142, and then you have buttery smooth silk that looks like a rounded uh, corner, rounded corner. That's all I've got. And then it's the same for the G-Sync. So the first example was the FreeSync one. Now it's the actual Dell monitor with G-Sync. You can see the left with the frame rate uncapped, it's super jittery and with a lot of tearing. And then once G-Sync was actually implemented properly with 142 FPS limit, then it's totally fine. And then comparing both the MSI monitor to the Dell monitor with the frame rate limited to 142, they look honestly the same. The MSI monitor is a little bit darker, but that's just because it's curved. And so uh, the way that the camera picks it up makes it look like it's not as bright and punchy, but it's, it's just fine. We also have the brightness turned on on both monitors. So no strobing, no issues, no flickering. It just, it just works. So there you have it. When we're not idiots, uh, you know, Overwatch actually does look pretty good with G-Sync enabled. The Witcher was fine because it was always below 144 FPS, even on Ultra with the 2080 Ti. So check the specs of your FreeSync monitor. Make sure you're still in range because otherwise the G-Sync implementation won't work. I don't know. It was just a brain fart. Like, Bitwit's done this before where like he did a GTA 5 mod video and he tried to compare it to the original, but he left V-Sync on and he has like 1.2 million views on that video where they're both capped to 60 and then he did a follow-up video. So uh, I'm calling a mulligan on this one. We just, we screwed up big time, but it works. It's official. You need HDMI. HDMI. Yeah, it doesn't work with HDMI said you need HDMI. Okay, cool. You need to not use HDMI is what I mean. So it works. You need to not use HDMI, only display port. Use a 10 series or a 20 series card. It'll work just fine. If you're having trouble with your display, make sure to DDU the drivers and hopefully you'll get a better implementation. Or it could just be that you buy crap and you get what you pay for essentially, which is why the G-Sync module in this monitor is worth so much money. This is, this is the best thing I've ever spent cash on, is a G-Sync monitor. Always, always forever G-Sync in my heart. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Please forgive us for me being dumb on a video. Anyways, uh, don't forget that we have our charity live stream coming up next Friday, January 25th. If you wanna help support the charity, we'll give you more information on the stream about everything that we're raising funds for. So we'll keep your eyes peeled and uh, notifications. We'll be streaming on YouTube and Twitch so you can choose either one, whichever way you want to do it. I'm going to wrap that up. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech channel. You're amazing. Thanks so much for watching. See your smiling faces again in the next video. Love you too. I'm sorry.